then tool support for test specification so some tools to support test specification are uh, test design tool or test data preparation tools so these kind of tools provide support for test specification so let's get, uh, go ahead and see uh, test design tool and test data preparation tool one by one so test design tool so test design tool help to construct test cases and test input so most of the time you would have seen that you are constructing test cases um, manually with your understanding or experience these tools help you to design test cases um, and test inputs so you can provide test inputs based on the test input they, they'll um, uh, provide you a decent amount of number of test cases or based on the uh, on the conditions that you define they can they help you pro to construct the test cases then test design tool can easily and quickly identify the tests or test input that will exercise all of elements so that is input field button branches so so these test design tool easily and quickly identify the test conditions so based on so suppose you have um, um, some input field or buttons and branches you provide the those details and these test design tools will help you to identify the number of test cases for those conditions or inputs that you have provided then test design tools also help to identify possible combinations for test executions like OS and browser combinations. So this this is another um, feature of test design tool. So suppose you want to identify the best possible coverage for OS and browser combination. So you can provide the details that um, the OS that you are supporting, the browsers that that your software needs to be uh, supported on and test design tool will provide you the combination of different OS and browser which needs to be covered then test design tool embedded with code coverage tools help to identify functionality which is still not being tested by current set of tests and where new test cases need to be added so test design tools are whenever you are doing code coverage if you integrate test design tool with code coverage then this test design tool helped you to identify the, the coverage that is being achieved by the number of test cases that you have written and it will so suppose the, you have 100 test cases and those 100 test cases are giving you a coverage of 80 percent that means that you still need to write test cases to achieve that 20 percent remaining coverage so test design tool whenever they are embedded with code coverage help you to identify which functionality still needs to be um, which where you need to add more test cases in order to get the 100 percent coverage then what are the features of test design tech uh, design tools so test design tools generate test input values from following so for example they they generate test input values from requirements um, uh, then they provide input values from design models then from graphical user interface your software codes test conditions and if test oracle is available then it also generates the expected results so based on you know different requirements or um, graphical user interface or data models um, they generate test data or um, test cases or test input values then these tools are used mostly throughout the software development life cycle and they are used mostly by the tester so these test design tools are kind of used by senior testers and some of the test design tools are like all pairs testing or ACTS which is mostly combinatorial test design then you have um, a test tool from Microsoft which is known as PICT or uh, there is another company Hexawise which has test design tools so so based on the input that you provide 
in the test design tools be it the graphical user interface input like fields buttons branches it will generate the test cases or test outcome that you need to add into your um, test test cases then the other tool is test data preparation tool so test data preparation tools help to prepare test data so because whenever you are testing you need some test data um, to be loaded into the software so that you can go ahead and start testing so test data preparation tool main purpose is to prepare that sort of test data then it's mostly used for performance and reliability testing as large amount of data is required for performance and reliability testing so test data preparation tool are mostly used by performance tester because performance testers need tens of thousands of um, users or data into the software in order to find out what the performance uh, of the software is or what, how, how reliable is the software so these are mostly used by performance testers then features of a test data preparation tool are to extract data from different databases or files so that's the most important feature because suppose you have um, a production uh, environment already running so test data preparation tool can extract data from production environment and then that can be imported to the test environment so test data preparation tool has a functionality to extract data from different databases or from different files like comma separated separated file or flat files then it has it should have the ability to extract data from existing production environment and push it to, into the test environment so it it should have ability to extract from any production or any other database then other feature is to pro to construct large number of records from a template or for performance test so if you create a template to create a test user um, in the for, for the performance testing then test data preparation tool can create large amount of users or records based on that template then it also provides data masking feature for data protection and privacy so you can mask the data um, using data preparation tool for your um, for data protection and privacy um, stuff then you can modify data records and order so another feature is that you can modify the data that is being generated by test data preparation tool or you can um, modify any uh, the order of the data that is being uh, that needs to be inserted into test environment so these are used most uh, mostly when a system testing or end-to-end -end testing or performance testing is being done and used mostly by um, testers and developers because developers also need test data while they are uh, doing a development activity uh, so if they are they are uh, developing some uh, fixing them performance uh, related uh, related defect or module then at that point of time they need the test data to be loaded in their development environment so for which they need test data preparation tool to prepare data and upload it into their development environment so it is used mostly by testers and developers and uh, to conclude in this session we learned about different tools uh, classification so we learn about tools for management of testing and tests then we learned about tools for uh, supporting of static testing tool support for static testing and then finally we learn about um, tool support for test specification so in the next session in part two of this session we will learn about tool support for test execution and logging tool support for performance and monitoring then tool support for specific application areas and tool support using other tools thank you